has never lost to the Cavaliers. A win tonight puts the Blue Devils in the first round of the PSSAA playoffs. We're going to go down to the field now for a cheer from our varsity cheerleaders, and after that, it's the kickoff of Lebanon and Cookville. Deep to return for the Cavaliers of Cookville. We have got, let's see here, they've, they've switched some uniform numbers around, and it's hard to pick out who some of these guys are. We do know one of them, that's uh, Brandon Harkham, is standing deep at his five-yard line. And here with a play-by-play call of tonight's football game, the voice of Blue Devil football, Bruce King. All right, Tommy. Pressure the kick off. He'll kick from north to south, comes forward, and kicks it low line drive. Kick will pick up on the 11 to the 20, to the 25, to the 30, and got knocked down on the 30. Raced the ball back about 19 yards. Pressure kicked a low line drive kick, and the wind was behind his back end. And like you said, it's a cold north wind. Ball will be spotted on the 30, first and 10, Kugel. Kugel. And Lebanon, Lebanon needs to win. That is if Oakland wins. Kugel out of the huddle. They come to the line with a slot right. Bohannon's the quarterback. They got an eye set. Lebanon's in a 50. Take the ball and they run it to their fullback. And no, the quarterback kept it and got outside and crossed the 35 and got eight and got to the 38. Well, they faked us and got nine to the 39. We thought to give it to the fullback. Bohannon kept the ball, run a kind of a bootleg off of it, and got nine yards to the 39, second and one. Lined up at tailback is Dewan Farrell wearing number five. That's a change from his regular number, but Farrell, their 1,000-yard rusher for the Cavaliers. So Farrell will be wearing five instead of one. They send a man in motion to the left. Take the football and give it to Farrell, and we hit him in the backfield and knock him down for a couple of yard loss. First man in there was Hasty, maybe, and Cantrell's down under there. We had several people to greet him. Farrell took the football, run straight ahead, got knocked down and lost from the 39 back to about the 37 and a half and lost a yard and a half and a third and two and a half. Ball on the 37 and a half. Send a flanker to the right and a split into the left and a slot left. Bohan and Colin signals Farrell's a tailback. Third down play in a cold wind. Sweet left. There goes Farrell. Got the first down across the 40. Got knocked out up on around the 46 or 7 yard line. They just simply run a toss sweep and pull the guard and got to the 47 and got the first down by almost a 10 yard gain. First down, Cookville. Cook will coming in here with a three and six overall record. They have not won a district game. They're on the 46 and a half. First and 10, 10 minutes to go in the first quarter, no score. Small crowd from Cookville here and a slim crowd from Lebanon. Take the ball, run a dive in the middle and got to the 50 and got knocked down as he handed that football to the fullback. And that was Harden, I believe, if they unstack them, or it was 35 that carried the football. And, Tommy, who's that? That's Mullins. Mullins got the football across the 50. Bruce at defensive front for the Blue Devils. We've got Jason Gray at a tackle, Tony Cantrell at the nose, and Kevin Hasty at a tackle. Deffendall out tonight with that knee injury. Google with a slot right, Bohannon calling signals on the line. His fullback is Mullins. We jump up in a six-man front. We take it. We shoot a man through. We shoot two men through. He still got a yard and a half on us. We were stunting our linebackers, and Drake knocked him down as he crossed the 15, got into our territory in the 49 and a half. 
And Kukbo looking at long third now. They've got to go to our 43-yard line, maybe our 44. They're third down in about five. Lebanon in blue and white pants. White helmets trimmed in blue pants. And Kukbo coming in here with white white jerseys and red numbers. Bowen and Chicks, it's a line. Two wide out, slot to the left. Call signals, runs that sweep to Farrell. He's got room. He's got to the 35 to cut it in on the 33 and got the first down to the 32, and we didn't have anybody over there much as they swept our corner, and our end got blocked, and our corner didn't come up, and they carried that football to the 30-and-a-half-yard line. First down, Kugel's running Farrell. He's over the 1,000-yard mark. Good yard he's there. Marlow C. chasing the play from behind, but could not make the play as the linebacker came hard on the stunt. Cook will drive it on Lebanon early. There. A little bit, not too much. They got to the 38, maybe, and got two and a half, maybe even the 37 before they get through spot. Nine, well, it's eight old man. Oakland, Riverdale beat Oakland. We've got to win this one. They're on our 29-yard line. First and 10, slot right this time. Bo Hannon, well, everybody went except the center. Cook will all sides. Five-yard penalty. Everybody, everybody was moving except the center. Five yards back to the 34. Cookville's had the ball already. Ten plays, Bruce. They brought, they marched from their own 31 down to Lebanon's 29. The five-yard penalty will back them up to the 34. Ten plays, all of them on the ground. And they're eating the clock up as they lead up over five and a half minutes. And they're in a slot right. Now they're first and 15 as they got that five-yard penalty back to the 34. And Bowen will call signals and run a sweep to Farrell. Here we come trying to cut it up, and this time we stop it. They run the sweep to the right, and Alex Scarwood, our end, was there to knock him down on the 35. He tried to run a sweep back to the right side that time, and Scarwood would have no part of that as he knocked him down on the 35, and he lost maybe a yard on that. And second down and 16 for the Cavaliers. 
through some of that defensive front for Lebanon, Marlowe C, Steve Rose, the linebackers, Skullroot and Kendall on the ends, Thompson, Maneer, the corners, Michael Drake, Devon Stone, the safeties for Coach Mark Medley's Blue Devils. Lebanon got a pretty good student crowd here tonight in this cold weather. Kugel brought a few. Slot left, split in right. And Kugel moved. Kugel had a couple of linemen moving, a guard in particular. That'll cost them five more. That's their second penalty. I think that's what it's going to be. We'll look at Jack Jolly. Referees tonight out of Murfreesboro. The head official is Jack Jolly as they step off five yards against Kugel. Clock operator, John Young. Head linesman is Bart Fike. Line judge, Jeff Mitchell. Back judge, Doyle O. Umpire, Steve Wallace. Bruce, uh, from Murfreesboro. Bruce, that lineman we talked about moving into the line, Brian Prophet, who was a fullback until two weeks ago, he's the guy that jumped wearing number 60 at left guard. It's second down and 21. Send the man in motion to the left. Bowen in the sprint left and look for a pass. We're trying to rush him. He got outside of Kendall and showed some speed and went all the way to our 27. He got outside of our end. And we couldn't contain him, and he raced at football all the way to the 27, and now they're looking down at third down, and they got to go somewhere around the 19. Third down, let's call it eight. Third and eight, Kugel. Bow in and showed good speed. They've had the ball now almost eight minutes, seven and a half at least. We get our in out of there. Moscadelli had come in, and it's third and eight, and they're on our... 27. Take it. Sweet Farrell. We come up, we hit him, we knock him down. Somebody got low. That was Rose. And Rose up in it on the 25. And now it's fourth down. I'm sure Coach will go for it. They've had it for eight minutes. There's four minutes to go in the first quarter. We have not touched the football yet. 